Hey everybody, it's uh, <clears throat> August 21st, about 5 p.m. I just got back from uh, Sasebo here running some errands and a couple odd little details here before um, what looks like a regrettably permanent departure in this beautiful part of the world. But what we have here right in front of us is a small uh, four meter dinghy. There are many others like them here. And um, the uh, purpose of this short bit of footage is to um, promulgate to the public what's going on in places like this where there's a massive population decline and the importance of um, procreation and um, introduction of future generations um, I should say initiation of future generations into this sort of pursuit 20 years ago this was a very uh, thriving little marina beautiful place as it still is um, with a small fleet of of dinghies like this. Now, my intention is to um, do some basic repairs to this here and send it off to some aspiring sailors in another part of the world. Uh, we can go into that a little bit more later. But um, I wanted to take this as a, uh, a snapshot in time of a beautiful little place here that In a matter of a few short weeks, will be no more. Now, I came down here years ago when I was stationed here, and this represented a, a lot of things. It, uh, it meant a change of lifestyle from the better. We were all drunks and wasting away over in Sailor Town blowing all of our money and after coming down here and uh, taking a trip out to Fujikushima um, that cracked open the third eye into a perspective of a dramatic change in lifestyle and less than nine months after that this little 12 foot dinghy that you see before you um, made a 150 mile nautical mile trip along the north shore of Kyushu all the way to Fukuoka from Sasebo. And to the best of my knowledge, uh, that was unprecedented. And a lot of, a lot of things happened here that had a big influence on, on my life and, and the lives of my friends. I'm sure had we not come down here, um, we would have all been drunks no doubt about it, and never, never learned anything more um, than the uh, daily routine and riotous behavior that we were all uh, involved in. But just to give everybody a brief grand tour here and keep it under five minutes, um, this is a peninsula. Uh, this is in the best kept secret <laughs> of Japan. As far as I'm concerned, Fujikushima is a very protected area um, that falls right in between uh, two um, uh, typhoon routes. And the U.S. Navy established a base here because of the protected nature of this of this area. You can see there are mountains all around, and this 100 island chain. Um, extends very very far out there's a launching ramp over there and this is the view in the afternoon I used to bail out of work every day 10 minutes before quitting time and uh, we were changed and, and headed out um, you know with the uh, with the bosses looking for us on the way 
and we would, would make a break for it and come down here and take that little dinghy out and sail and, you know, through sunset and well into dark and with a little more than a flashlight up on the mainsail we made many passages you know, 20 30 50 miles north and south of here you go south toward oshima <clears throat> and go north toward hiradoshima and of course then onward across the genkai nada and over to fukuoka uh, far on the opposite side of that mountain range um and whenever we would do this with the uh, mainsail only illuminated coming back in late at night we would always make landfall in the dark and I was thankful for that later on um, you know, less than a year after we were doing that I found myself coming up here after a 45 day voyage from the northern Philippines um, via Taiwan and, and the Ryukyu Island chain um, and we met a bit of heavy weather that came and caught us by surprise. 35 plus knot winds kicked up in a matter of 15 minutes in combination with uh, wind over tide. And um, we were um, in need of some, of some much deserved rest. So we came in here and went from total chaos to absolute peace in a matter of uh, 15 minutes tied Epicurus up right over there at that dock. And that was the final leg of the journey that, that brought us all here. All right, folks, I'm going to get off of this rant and try to post this um, and avoid the sentiment. But I just wanted to share this beautiful, beautiful part of um, history here with, uh, with everybody and anybody who's interested. Um, it would take, uh, as far as I understand, a seriously monumental effort of uh, negotiation, persuasion, and capital to keep this place from getting destroyed. But, well, my highest hope is that someone will show interest. But otherwise, we'll take it away as the, uh, as the beautiful memory that it has been. Cheers, everybody.